now that we have a better idea as to what September will look like after the Ford government released its back-to-school strategy, some parents are expressing concerns over class sizes and fears the provincial government may not be doing enough to protect children from COVID-19. Yeah, I figure this is just a non-plan. Um, they invested no money for teachers. The classes are still super big. Um, Nora, my daughter, will be entering classes of 30 kids. There's no social distancing at all. Um, there's no extra hand washing stations. There's no mandatory masking. This parent said she'd like to see smaller class sizes, mandatory masks, and more teachers hired for children in the kindergarten level. Premier Doug Ford released the back to school plan yesterday, which would see primary school students attend class five days a week with one cohort during the day, including recess and lunchtime. Officials say right now class sizes will be kept close to the provincial average and maximum level before the pandemic took place. We have the lowest cohorts uh, in, in the entire country of some of the lowest, uh, smallest class sizes. We're putting uh, approximately 500 uh, nurses, a tune of $50 million. We're increasing spending by uh, $309 million. On, on top of that, uh, we're giving the boards $30 million additional uh, dollars to hire more staff if, if needed. We're putting $50 million for uh, uh, cleaning and then another $25 million for cleaning services as well. So we're, we're pouring the money in there. Some critics of the reopening plan say the funding is simply not enough for the extra staff and personal protective equipment that school boards need. Now, under the new plan, parents can choose to keep their children out of classrooms with the help of online learning pending the school board's approval.